there it is. Blue banana squash, I highly recommend it. A little review of the uh, Guatemalan blue banana squash that I got from Seed Savers Exchange this year. Actually, I got these last year. I've uh, been growing them for two years. First year I didn't have much luck. I got a couple squash, maybe maximum about a foot long. But as you can see this year, did pretty well. This one looks a lot like the one on the package. The coloration's pretty similar. It does have some orange in it, which was a little bit of a surprise. Uh, but this squash right here is measuring in right around 16 inches long. And then this is the biggest of the squash that came out this year. The coloration was a little bit of a surprise because it's all kind of this light blue color. It's about 20 inches long. Leave yourself some refrigerator space because 20 inches, that's uh, quite a squash. So I'm pretty impressed with this one. I think the spot, the location had a lot to do with it. Full sun, it's a fairly long grow. Belongs to the banana group of squashes noted for their fine table quality. This selection is dark blue. Although, as you can see, they're not all like that. With light stripes, golden yellow flesh is thick and firm. Fruits range up to 20 inches long and average around five pounds. Typical squash planting, one inch seed depth, six to eight seeds per hill, and then thin it to three to four plants. I think we had, I think we had two or three plants in the hill that gave us all of ours. And we got quite a good harvest off of it. Uh, and of course, full sun. Sow seeds outdoors in a 12 inch diameter hill after danger of frost has passed. You want to make sure you give it plenty of time to grow. So yes, I will definitely be growing these again next year. Pretty excited about them. And I'll give you a look at what they look like inside and what it's like to cook them too. Seems like they're going to be pretty good storage squash too. I don't know how they'll match up to like a butternut, but uh, so far so good. Uh, a couple of them have some little tiny spots on them, but they've had these for a month or so and they seem to have hardened off. I was a little worried at first, uh, but it doesn't seem to be spreading. I don't know if you can see. There's just a couple up at the end here. Uh, they're not really soft at all, so if they do get soft, we use them up. Uh, but I'm hoping to have these into maybe January, have a nice Christmas, New Year's squash. Uh, so there, I'll keep you posted on it. It's April 4th and we are about to uh, start on this squash. It's the Guatemalan Blue that I grew last summer. This has been in the basement for months. I mean, probably since September. So it's held up really well. Still solid, no soft spots. The colors changed a little bit, but still plenty good. If you're looking for a squash to grow, great keeper. This is your squash, Guatemalan Blue. Highly recommended. Let's go. So I'm not gonna obviously eat this whole thing at once. We're just gonna slice off some from the end and then roast it. And then we'll keep the rest in the refrigerator. And then just and eat it over time. So I'm just going to cut the stem off and then I'm going to try to peel it with this peeler. I'm only going to peel the part that I'm going to eat. And then just slice off some slices. It's a very good keeper for squash. It's not soft at all, it's not spongy, it's not rotting. if you want some seeds. All right, so we've got the squash we're going to use there cut up and we're just going to take the rest of this one. Beauty. And we're going to put it just like this. And I'm just going to put a rubber band around the end. I'll use it in the next week or two. I'm not going anywhere, you know what I'm saying? So, there it is meals out of that. There it is. Guatemalan blue banana squash. I highly recommend it.